everybody, it's about half past ten on Saturday the 4th of August and yep, uh, just as predicted or however you'd like to say it, right on cue, um, I started having a bleed today, although it's really light but at least it's a bleed, um, still feeling okay, I must admit like my emotions are like a little bit wobbly, like I've been a little bit anxious, but I don't know if that is because obviously I've been on loads of like quite sedative and anti anxiety meds, and now I'm only taking like I'm only taking one of the drugs and I'm only taking it like half of the amount that I was taking it, so I don't know if it's just my body adjusting again. Um, managed to get onto level fours today, like had a chat with the nurse and then with the matron or whatever she is and they both agreed that yeah it was fine for me to go on to level four so that means that I'm allowed off the ward on my own and um, managed to call in at my friend's daughter's birthday party it was really lovely I played on the trampoline and I did a like a lot of um, like looking after the kids and making sure they were safe and not um, injuring themselves on the bounce castle and then we had food and cake and it was lovely and then I've actually kind of a little bit spontaneously but a little bit not booked a trip to Bristol so I'm going to Bristol on Thursday and then I'm going to go to the Bloom, Bloom International Balloon Fiesta or something like that it's called which has been on my bucket list and I just didn't think it was feasible for me to do it this year I thought it was going to have to wait till next year but managed to work it out quite cheaply and um I've never been to Bristol so I'm quite excited and they've also apparently got like this series of grommet sculpture things that are like um, painted or um, decorated or something around the city so I'm going to have a look at those and then I'm going to meet up with a lady that's got PMDD and is an occupational therapy assistant and she runs Mummy Cycles, I don't know if anybody, any of you have heard of that but yeah she's got a lot, I think we've got a lot in common and Hopefully it'll be a really productive meeting and we can brainstorm lots of things and make some progress with both of our projects and help each other out. So I'm really looking forward to that on Saturday and then coming home on Saturday and Sunday. I actually don't have any plans but then Monday I'm um, going to be going to visit my old manager where I used to work. I've not seen her for a couple of years so that'll be really nice to catch up with her and then again to see my friend on the train because it's quite cheap to go from where I used to work to um, where she lives it's only like three pound return or something and then Tuesday is free and then Wednesday I'm off to London for an appointment and then Thursday I'm in London and then Friday I've got therapy so it's going to be a full-on two weeks and then that takes me to like the 20th or something and then on the 20 6th or the 27th, I can't remember what it is, I'm back off to London again because um, I've got a gynaecology appointment with the surgeon and in between those two London appointments I'm supposed to be going to France. So talk about like living every minute as if it's your last. I am really maxing out on the positive emotions and creating positive memories in between being stuck in the psych ward for 8, 9, 10 days each month. So yeah, things are good. I'm quite tired today. Um, but yeah, I've been out and I've done stuff and hopefully we'll go out again tomorrow. And then I think, well, I won't get discharged because they've been talking about like not discharging me and just sending me on leave. So I will go, hopefully go on leave for three weeks until I need to come back in on maybe Monday. I think Monday. I'd like it to be Monday. Oh, the other thing was as well, my consultant here so the psychiatrist came and talked to me about my ECG which I had on Friday and it was good news because my QT wave had gone back to normal which means that it was being drug induced from the medications they put me on so next time I come in they will be able to put me on a different medication which hopefully won't cause the same problems with my heart um, yeah all in all good day good news don't quite look so shattered although I do still look a little bit tired and I will update again tomorrow bye everybody